Hey guys, it's Andy here, and today we are going to be tearing apart both OG and CG. So I've let it run for two weeks instead of one week, like I originally said, mainly because uh, I've just been busy with other things, and uh, I didn't really see much change in it until now. Uh, according to these levels, there shouldn't be any corrosion, but all of a sudden today, we just uh, lost almost all of our current, so... And we've also lost 200 millivolts, which uh, is interesting. Now, uh, observation of it, the black spot there, it's still there. The color of it is slowly fading back to white again. And then on this side... So there wasn't dielectric grease on the face of this, so the crystal structure has touched it and is corroding inward. Uh, there's a lot more black around here. The YouTuber IBPointless2 made a video two years ago uh, entitled Black and White Corrosion of Magnesium, and he noted that um, when starved of oxygen, magnesium will oxidize black, um, which I don't really understand because oxidation requires oxygen, but um, he was using uh, baking soda as well, um, same as what I was using to make mine turn black and just not giving it any oxygen afterward. Uh, and then if you let it oxidize normally, it would turn white. So I think this black is caused by the dielectric grease preventing the uh, corrosion and uh, somehow creating a similar effect. But I'll tear it apart and I'll be able to observe it a bit better. But uh, I find it interesting that it's lost uh, most of its uh, dark green color. There's obviously corrosion on the bottom here, but the top seems to be doing quite well. But we'll find out. We'll just look at this guy. So, clean. There's no oxidation on this one. Whereas this one had oxidization and uh, dielectric grease. So, you can see it's been doing pretty good you know hovering up and down around these marks it's been going for 11 days uh it's very promising um my uh previous video on oxidation of this guy um if you watch that you understand i oxidation doesn't work for trying to uh build a crystal cell i mean it was apparent in the other video and i i assume that this video is going to reinforce that theory because uh, this guy's doing good and he had no oxidization, but two cells made differently with oxidation and they both uh, died. So you can see there's one very dark black area and it's not touching the magnesium, it's hovering around it. So that's why I believe that the dielectric grease is causing some kind of uh, oxygen starved reaction and that's what that's from. And it's on the other side, it's even worse, but it's only in one spot. You can see it's also losing most of its color except for around the magnesium, which is very interesting. And uh, this one looks very good. Uh, you can see there's very little signs of uh, corrosion at all around the magnesium. It looked exactly like this when I built it. I used the recycled core, so... There's a bit of uh, pitting and stuff from a previous test, but um, it's not going to affect these tests at all. Anyways, let's just uh, tear these apart and see what's inside. I have the tops uh, popped off these things, and this is the oxidized grease one. Yeah, see this. Look, it's not black, it's blue. Uh, that's so strange. I mean, I've got... I mean, lime green, then, f like, a light green, I don't know. Then I got this, like, dark blue going into a light blue. And it's it's very loose. Like, usually my crystal composition is very dry and hard. It's like cement almost. But this stuff, I mean, you can just push it away. And there doesn't seem to be any heavy corrosion either. It's just, uh, strangely colored goes all the way to the bottom too so maybe it was a contamination in the uh, composition but uh, I'll take it fully apart and we'll see now here the clean magnesium 
This one's black. And this one is also uh, very easy to pick off. Like, this should be dry. And we want to try and achieve as dry a cell as possible so that the crystal composition can uh, grow but not corrode the magnesium. But with the dielectric grease, that might be changing it. See, it's just black. It's very hard here. Once again, there doesn't appear to be any heavy corrosion. I can feel a little bit. Maybe there was a strong concentration of alum powder in just one part of the cell. It's interesting. Anyways, we'll all completely clean this out and we'll see uh, how the magnesium cores did. For the copper pipe, there's uh, not much uh, black oxidation on it. Uh, it's pretty good. This one here is uh, very clean as well. Can't really see much black, um, so not much oxidation in them. And this is the clean oxidization cell, and that is after oh, 11 days, this is the amount of corrosion. And this cell was already corroded beforehand, so some of this is, you know, left over from before. So just a little bit of pitting. And uh, just a bit of chew marks. This here, it was really hard to try and get the crystal composition out of all these little cracks and crevices. It was cemented in there pretty, pretty good. But uh, yeah, that's um, that's amazing. That's almost no corrosion for the amount of time that it was, you know, put together. And our oxidized one did just as well. And this is the most amount just a little bit of it and so that's uh very impressive so there you go um dielectric grease does work you know we definitely didn't solve the corrosion problem but we've leveled off the uh current flow so instead of getting 40 milliamps right away and then within you know 12 hours having it drop down to 10 we uh, had it ramp up to two and stay at two solid for almost two weeks straight. And the exact same with this guy. Um, I, I poorly built this cell and uh, I didn't put dielectric grease over everything. So there, that might have affected this. Now I'm going to try this uh, one inch brass pipe. My 3D printed washer that I uh, built. We'll be using this guy here, and just shove him in there. Um, he doesn't fit, because uh, I guess I did the measurements wrong, or the machine printed it off wrong. But uh, I'll just heat them up and push them down in. I'm going to have to coat this entire thing with uh, dielectric grease. So then this entire uh, core has to be heavily coated in dielectric grease. And then you push them in, and you very carefully put this down without scraping any of the dielectric grease off. Fill it up with crystal composition. Add a few drops of water, and boom! Anyways, I uh, hope you like this video. I hope you find it interesting. And if you are building crystal cells, uh, I'd encourage you to build uh, with John from Anahawken 1's uh, crystal composition. It's uh, table salt, three parts, uh, no salt, one part, and uh, a little bit of alum powder. We used to do, uh, you know, one part alum powder as well, but um, it's just too corrosive. But anyways, uh, like, favorite, subscribe, and have a good day.